So when we last left off, we talked about how to make shapes, how to resize shapes, how to align shapes so they all look good together. Now we're going to talk about colors. When you want to color a shape, you first select the shape, then you're going to look for three icons at the top of the screen. You've got the fill icon, it looks like this, like a paint can. You've got the border or line icon, which looks like a pencil. And you've got the line thickness or border width, sometimes it's called. Um, when you click one of these, you'll get another window over under it, which will have a, a number of colors under it, as well as uh, transparent, so you can make it so it's not seen, and uh, some custom settings. So the custom settings let you get the full possibility of colors. There are about 16 million possible colors that you can make on your computer screen. This will let you get all of them uh, if you know how to <laughs> if you know how to find them it can be a little tricky sometimes to find just the color you're looking for it also lets you uh, use a partial transparency so something is partially transparent you can see through it a little bit but not completely also you can change the settings on gradients gradients are really useful it starts to make things look three-dimensional which can be really handy so let's get some practice so first we want to make this rectangle yellow with a thick orange outside outline so I'm going to click it, I'm going to come up to find my paint can, and click yellow. And then I'm going to find my line uh, color, my border color, make that orange, and my border weight, I want to make, oh, maybe 8 point, look at that, that's nice and thick. And there we have it. We've got a, a yellow rectangle with a thick orange outline. Next we want to make uh, this bottom circle red, so I'll click that, with a transparent outline. So first I'll make it red, click my paint can, click red. And for the border, I will click transparent, and now you can't see the border around the red. For the other circle, I want to make it blue. And how about that blue? And a transparent uh, border again. But I also want to make the uh, blue uh, circle halfway transparent. So I'm going to click my paint can again and go to custom. And here I've got a slider. I can make that about halfway transparent. And now I can see the red circle underneath peeking through. And finally, I want to give the star a gradient fill, so I'm going to click the star. I'm going to go up to my paint can and click the gradient tab. And now I can pick any one of these. Some of them will come out better than others, I think. Let's see. And some of them you can't see so well with a small shape. Let me blow this up a little bit. Yeah, now you can see it's it's got a gradient in it. And that's it for color.